I have made reference to the business impact analysis. So what is a business impact analysis? Um, this is um, the information, the assessment, the analysis that you make to inform your business continuity plan. In particular, it is about which processes, systems, resources, infrastructure is most vital to your business, to your enterprise. Um, which what is it that you cannot do without that you cannot conduct business if you don't have and uh as i say you know we are you know we're, we're talking about information technology so uh we tend to concentrate on that but of course the the most important thing that you cannot do business without is people your employees your customers. Uh, so, you know, just bear that in mind. There's not an awful lot you can do if all your people die. Uh, if all your customers die, you know, generally speaking, if that happens, you've got bigger problems than whether or not your business survives. But, you know, you, you do have to consider what is most crucial and sometimes it's not what you think it is sometimes it's not uh the areas that you know the books talk about you know having hot sites uh having backups oh yes we need backups i mean uh i have said it before i will say it again um i don't know anything that will do you more good for more areas of security than just simply having a backup. But anyway, um, we, you know, we do have to understand what is most crucial, and that is part of the business impact analysis, to identify those areas that are most vital, that you cannot conduct business without. So, uh, we, we tend to refer to these as mission-critical units. You know, what are, what are the offices, what are the agencies, what are the uh, groups, what are uh, the, the business functions that are most critical to the business. Uh, so, what are your mission-critical units? Um, and again, you know, be sure that you accurately identify what those are and what all of them are. Um, you know, otherwise you can do a lot of work on a business continuity plan, uh, come up with a, a beautiful plan, and all of a sudden you lose something that isn't in your plan because you never thought of it and you're out of business. So, and, and an awful lot of that happened during the pandemic that, that people all of a sudden realized, you know, when you couldn't get your people to work, how did you still conduct business? And over time, an awful lot of people realized they don't have to be in the office. And now, after 40 years, I mean, for the entire more than 40 years of my career in information technology, people have been talking about teleworking and remote working and work from home and, you know, whatever other terms that you use, meaning, you know, doing your work, but not in the office. And, you know, all of a sudden, you know, one pandemic comes along and uh, people suddenly realize, oh, wait, we can do this. So, you know, big surprise. Anyway, um, so we, you know, the, the office, head office, 
it's not a mission critical unit. Big surprise. Um, so, concentrate on what is critical to the business. How critical is it? And in, in what ways is it critical? Can we, uh, can we do without it? Can, is there another way we can continue to function in business without what we consider this, this mission critical unit? I mean, you, you can't go to everyone um, when you're doing the business impact analysis and simply say, you know, how important is your, uh, your unit to the business? They are obviously going to say, oh, it's, it's absolutely crucial. Cannot be, you know, nobody can live without us. Okay. Um, Everybody is, is going to say that. Now, a better way to, to assess this is to address the, the functions individually and say, okay, if, if this goes down, what do you do? And then all of a sudden, you know, the manager you're talking to will say, well, we could do this, we can go to paper, we could, you know, hire some temporary workers to do this, so on and so forth. And they'll have all kinds of ideas about this supposedly mission critical unit which they have just told you is you know absolutely crucial to the business if you ask it that way and uh we are you know when you get a response from somebody and you ask you know what happens when this goes down and he just says well cry you know maybe that's actually mission critical so, um, we also have uh, two concepts here. The, the recovery time objective, which is the answer to the question, how long can we go without this system? You know, can we conduct business without this system operating for a while? And therefore, uh, that informs, you know, how much work we want to put into getting this function back into operation as quickly as possible. And the other is the recovery point objective. How much of this function do we need um, to at least maintain minimal business? You know, do we need all of it? Can we get by with, you know, 50% of the function? Can we get by with 10% function? Whatever, you know, what, what, to what level do we need to restore this so that we can continue the business. And, you know, we, we have to look at all of our uh, units internally to the com company, but then we've got to look at our infrastructure. And like I said, you know, uh, the term supply chain, which was a very specialized term in business and logistics up until a few years ago, has now become part of our language because people have realized that all of our efficiencies and all of our just-in-time uh, processes and work and, and so on and so forth lead to the fact that if something goes wrong, everything crashes down. So you need to ask this question of your supply chain as well.